Bonnie and Ben rhyme again. Bonnie and Ben rhyme again. Bonnie and Ben were a boisterous pair who loved to yell, who loved yelling rhymes in the open open air. So they said their goodbyes with a kiss and a hug, and went out for a walk with their friend Skinny Duck. Skinny Duck was the one who, time after time, had kept them entrance with rhyme after rhyme. So they set off. So as they set off, he said, "Where will you start? You know so many. You know them by heart." Soon they came to a small hill. Appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said, "Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water." Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Skinny Duck said, "I love it! I love it! Well done!" and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are! When a couple of sheep appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said, "Little Bo Peep has lost our sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone, and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them." And Skinny Duck said, "I love it! I love it! Well done!" And Ra, can you tell me another? How clever you are! When Plums, when plums on a plum tree appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said, "Little Jack Horner sat in a corner, eating his pudding and pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a thumb plum and said, 'What a good boy am I!' And Skinny Duck said, 'I love it! I love it! Well done, and hurrah!" Can you tell me another? How clever you are! When a big hairy black spider appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said, "Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider." Who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away? And Skinny Duck said, "I love it! I love it! Well done!" And Ra, can you tell me another? How clever you are! When magnificent roses appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation. The two of them said. Ring a ring a rosy, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. And Skinny Duck said, "I love it, I love it, well done, and hurrah! How can you tell me another? How clever you are!" When their very own house appeared up ahead. It was already late, and there were stars overhead. So, without hesitation, the two of them said, "Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky." Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And Skinny Duck said, "I love it, I love it, hip hip and hooray! What a beautiful rhyme for the end of the day." Goodbye and good night, dear Bonnie and Ben. We'll say some more rhymes when we all meet again. Not long after that, in their room down the hall, young Bonnie and Ben said. Nothing at all. The end.